Okay, so uh, I, uh, I counted my chickens before they hatched on uh, the redo of the Business Improvement District election in Coral Gables. I'm outside City Hall, and uh, it appeared to me that um, there was only one option in front of the commission, but uh, I, I realized I was overly optimistic because uh, they retained the option of uh, rescinding their order nullifying the previous illegal election and they they're reinstating it for a year uh and the thing is so so to 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 analysis uh um uh, of course it's just my opinion uh one analysis is the legality of the election and i say it's not it violates florida statute 170. uh and the second is uh why would they do that? There were, it was previously a 5-0 vote. Today was a 4-1 to one vote. Uh, Mayor Vince Lago on the side that I'm taking. Um, so the legal aspect of it is that the Florida state law uh, that's applicable in Florida Attorney General's opinion uh, is on my side. Uh, if you think of, think of what this is, because a lot of people don't realize this is where a, a group of people in a geographic area say we are willing to tax ourselves and so we're creating a special taxing district like a business improvement and, and then because you're voting to tax yourself the law florida statute 170 says there has to be an absolute majority of all affected ta property owners um now uh the city attorney had previously said this is legal, that they were actually, they were, they were not informing and not allowing, uh, let's just say 150 business condos uh, to be taxed without ever having a chance to participate. So it just straight out violates that law. They said, well, a condo association uh, can be used as substitute. But, you know, the attorney general's opinion says uh, they have to be property owners. The, the city attorney's office, Stephanie Throckmorton, conceded to me the condo associations are not property owners. Therefore, allowing them to vote violates both the Florida state law and its interpretation by the Florida attorney general. So it's, it's a straight up violation of law. No taxation without representation. They're taxing people and they have the right to confiscate their property. Uh, without giving them notice of an election where the, the state law says there must be a... And so they, they would never win unless they break the law because these they, the business improvement district does nothing for those business condos, doesn't market for them, doesn't promote them. And so, do you follow me here? There's, there's, a, there's let's just say, uh, um, trying to come up with a round number, um, 180 plus a, at least 150 or 170. Anyways, let's say 350, 360 uh, votes, but half of them approximately are not allowed to vote, and that's illegal. It's a violation of the state law. Uh, so what do I think really happened here? How could this happen? And what I think is, unfortunately, that uh, the Florida Supreme Court decision in uh, um, giving co corporations uh, saying the Bill of Rights corporations are entitled to the Bill of Rights are entitled to spend unlimited sums on elections um, what, what was that infamous decision I, it's not jumping into my head but um, the corporations have taken over the city and this has unfortunately been known for quite a while because the corporations uh, in, in this case the developers uh, donate more than the combined total of the taxpayers, the voters, that is, the individual voters in the city of Coral Gables. If, if uh, I have uh, two major sources of information on this, um, one of them a CPA, uh, and uh, I mean, people who, are, who have run as candidates themselves and lost, um, but who, who, who almost won. And uh, so 
Citizens United decision, which was the Supreme Court, uh, it, it literally in Coral Gables, it's not a government of the people, it's a government of the developers because of Citizens United allowing them to have unlimited PAC contributions. Uh, and so in terms of what happened today, just now, I regret to say that um, the commissioners that changed their votes, um, I may as well mention, I mean, it's with deep regret. I hope that they'll reconsider, but uh, importantly, Rhonda Anderson and Kurt Menendez um, decided the, the Terra Nova fellow who, in my opinion, has corrupted the, the business improvement district over the years, including in this recent respect, got a hold of other uh, hidden hand uh, developers who run the city with their donations to political campaigns. And they together put pressure on uh, Rhonda Anderson, who wants to be reelected, and but here's here's the amazing thing, and and on Kirk Menendez, Jorge Flores, um, to Mena was really I, I never considered him a sure vote, uh, and and somehow convinced them that it was more important to court developer money than to obey the law. I mean, that's a pretty strange decision, isn't it? What, what would you do if you're in a position where to keep your job, you have to publicly violate state law? Um, but that's what I think happened. Now, I, can I prove it? No. But uh, I've run for city commission. I've attended uh, city commission meetings approximately two-thirds since... Uh, 1998, how many years is that? Uh, I'm almost 24 now, and uh, it is 24. And that's what I think happened. It's, it, but it's very strange, actually, if you think about that. Developers somehow convinced uh, these city commissioners that their money was worth uh, violating state law for. So the outcome then, I should have said, is that apparently they're going to uh, ratify an illegal election that excludes uh, up, up to one half of the voters and uh, for a year, giving the, this uh, business improvement district a chance to reorient itself for a year. It's, it's been refusing to do this for three years. Uh, and now suddenly they say, well, we, b we better reach out to the business condo owners because they'll be included in an election a year from now and they'll try to sell them soap. And I don't think they're going to be able to do it. But um, the thing is, they did it wrong. They violated the law. And yet here we are staring this in the face.